YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's LME Rico TV, man. I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on, man. James Harden goes off on Daryl Morey and calls him a liar. Now, y'all know what time it is, man. When I heard this, man, it was crazy. So, that said, man, we're going to go ahead. Um, before we even do get started with the video, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. And also, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos. And be sure you don't miss out new videos. Check out the channel every single day. But with that said, man, let's go ahead and get the screen recorder started. That started and starting the vid now. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that hates more than Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that hates more than Thank you, man. My man said, let me repeat it again for the people in the back, man. So that's that's what's crazy. Like, he really meant everything he said for real. It, it's just crazy that this is a situation that's going on right now in the league for real. Like, I ain't never seen a situation get this bad between a player and pretty much the GM of the team and stuff. So with that said, whatever Daryl Morey must have said to him, he must not be living up to what he said to Harden to make Harden want to redo an extension or whatever. People going to say what they want to say about the extension, but people got to realize Harden signed that extension because at the time, uh, the extension, 76ers was the only team that was able to pay him a, a max contract. So he went with the intentions of, all right, Daryl Morey said if I do this, then they'll be able to go ahead and push me, whatever, whatever, for my max extension. So it had to be something along the lines with the contract extension and whatever happened, Daryl Morey must have told him, nah, we ain't going to be able to give you that max no more, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like that's possibly where things went south with them. But I could be wrong, man. It could be something else that we just don't know yet. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot to come out of this situation. Now, I did see Daryl Morey did say in response that, this didn't move him at all. Like he said, he's still sticking to the point that if he, there is nothing out there for them to trade Harden for, he's not going to do a trade. So that said, man, it sounds like Daryl Morey is going to try to force Harden to stay there. But we're going to see what's going to happen out of this because Harden, he, we already know he's he already said he's not coming to training camp. So if he's not coming to the training camp, then that nine times out of ten means he's definitely not going to come to none of the games. And he's okay with sitting out games and possibly getting fined every single time he sits out. I feel like the league is going to step in, and that's probably what it's going to be. They're probably going to make him forfeit pretty much his whole entire season salary and probably get some type of NBA suspension as well going into the next season with – However they go about him going to another team without doing the trade since he's taking it this route. Because this is going to be the first time we had a situation like this ever get this bad and toxic like that for real. So we're going to see, man. But this just definitely ain't looking too good at all for the 76ers. Because, yeah, you're going to try to force him to stay, but he's already saying he's not coming. So it's like, what's the point at the end of the day? So either way, y'all still not going to get what y'all want. And he's going to still get what he wants, but it's just going to come at a cost. And it's looking like he's okay with the cost. So if he got to go that route to get what he want, he's going to be the first player to pretty much go ahead and make that happen. But like I said, even though he is going to get what he want at the end of the day, but he's possibly going to be still facing some type of NBA expense, suspension possibly. But we just got to see how far both sides are willing to go in this situation and if anybody is possibly going to give up on their end and just do what's, do what's right for the other person or whatever the situation may end up becoming. So with that said, man, it's just a whole lot of possibilities for how this is going to go. But we're going to get back to the vid because the vid is not that long and I felt like I talked enough. So let's get back to it. And this is actually after the 76ers ended trade talks 
on James Harden. He said, no, I got to, to tell y'all to something to training real quick. Camp before the start of the season and to have him actually play during the season. But James Harden has stated that he will not be attending training camp and will not be playing for the 76ers. And now says this about Daryl Morey, who he's been friends with for quite some time as well. Obviously, him and Daryl were together at Houston and then reuniting together in... Yeah, and that's pretty much the thing. It's like... Him and Daryl Murray had a good relationship back in Houston. He gave Harden pretty much everything he wanted, the money. And obviously when he had CP there and then when they also had the shooting power and everything to really rival the KD and Steph Curry Warriors and stuff like that at that time. Obviously we seen what happened in them, um, excuse me, we seen what happened in them series, but at the end of the day, man, they definitely had a good offense around that time in Houston for sure. But just didn't get the job done. But other than that, man, something, like I said, must have happened for them for things to go south and get to where they are right now, man. Because it, it's just something we don't know. People got to realize that, too. It's a lot of things we don't know that's going on behind the cameras and stuff. Because without this video, if he never said what he said, he possibly would have still been feeling the way he feeling right now. And just did it a whole different way and we still would have been surprised either way but at the end of the day he chose to do it his way and this is just how it happened to come out so that said man i feel like it's definitely gonna be some more exposed in the near future man but we just gotta wait and see how this whole situation gonna play out that said man y'all comment down below how y'all feel about this situation and then for and have y'all ever seen something this crazy with an athlete because i might have not seen a situation before my time where something like this possibly happened between a player and a GM of a team organization. So y'all let me know down below, have y'all seen another situation more worse than this one or whatever the case may be. But with that said though, man, don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos. But that's it, man. That's the end of the video. And I'm going to catch you guys later on. Peace. Thank you.